Hi guys, Dr. Ram here. Welcome to the Dad Zone. So there is a ton of confusion around sleep training, how to do it, what method is best. So I wanted to make a quick and dirty sleep training video on what worked best for us. And just because it worked for us doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the best path for you since every child is different. And the second thing I wanna mention is always talk to your pediatrician before starting any kind of new program. That being said, here are the tips on how to make sleep training work. The first tip is respect that three hour wake window. So suppose you wanna to try to put your baby to bed at 7.30 p.m. That means she should wake up from her last nap of the day at around 4.30. So that takes a bit of planning because you have to time her first nap of the day and her second nap of the day to line up with that third nap of the day to get a three hour wake window before her bedtime. The second tip is have a solid bedtime routine. So what that looks like for us is we feed her with her bottle and then we do a little bit of a bath time routine and we let her play and to relax her a little bit. Uh, then we give her a little baby massage after her bath with some lotion, which she really loves and it relaxes her even more. And then we have a little a wind up mobile that she absolutely loves and it plays this little musical tune. And we wind it up once and do a little slow dance with her between mom and dad and she really likes that too. And mom and dad really love that too because we get to cuddle with her a little bit before putting her down. And once that mobile winds down once, then we wind it up one more time and then put her down in her crib, reassure her, pat her tummy and pat her, be uh, her belly and pat her butt a little bit and reassure her a little bit before leaving the room, turning off all the lights and then closing the door. The next part is the hardest part. You let her cry it out. So first she might get a little bit annoyed, then she will verbally protest and then she will cry and scream as if someone chopped off her hand. But this is the tough part that you have to let her cry it out. The fourth tip here is say, stay strong, mom and dad. Stay strong, it's really tough. One tip here is to just keep busy. So my wife and I, we queued up our favorite show on Netflix and we watched Netflix to try to keep our mind occupied during this time. Fifth tip is keep in mind that first two to three nights are going to be the toughest, but once you get past that hurdle, likely it's gonna get a lot easier after that. So the question that we had is with our daughter, she, before we started sleep training, she was waking up every 45 minutes. Does that mean we just let her cry it out every 45 minutes? And if so, like when do we decide to go in and feed her? That was the biggest question that we had. So the tip that we went with, the, the information that we went with was, you only go in when you think she might be hungry. So. For example, for our daughter, she gets hungry about every two hours and we feed her about on every two hours on that typical schedule, right? So suppose we put her down at 7.30, she cries it out till eight, um, then uh, let's say she wakes up at about 8.30 crying. So we know that she's, she's only been asleep, we fed her about an hour ago, so she's probably not hungry. So we let her cry it out again during that time. But suppose she wakes up again at 11 p.m. Then we know she's probably hungry because it's been about three hours since we fed her, uh, three or four hours since we fed her last. So then you go in and feed her like you normally would. Uh, but otherwise, you just let her cry it out again. Another tip here is that when you go in and feed her, be sure to have minimal interaction, meaning you just pick her up out of her crib, uh, you feed her, you burp her, and then put her back down uh, in the crib. Try to have minimal interaction with her, no talking, no singing, minimal light exposure during this time because you don't want to stimulate her uh, much. We found that when we go in to feed, uh, feed her, she goes back to sleep pretty quickly because the bottle makes her pretty sleepy. And since it's in the middle of the night, she's already pretty sleepy to begin with. So she, we didn't find that she cried it out for another 30, 40 minutes uh, in those middle of the night feedings. So. I'm happy to report the results of our experience with sleep training the first night. She cried 
at the top of her lungs for like 38 minutes straight. The second night she cried for about 20 minutes straight. And the third night she cried about five minutes and then she self soothed for about five minutes and whimpered and then she went to sleep. So keep in mind, it's not uncommon to have some kind of regression once after those first few nights. So to give you an example, she did great that third night, that fourth night, that fifth night. And then for some reason that sixth night, she cried at the top of her lungs for another 28 minutes, but again, let, we let her cry out so she learns how to put herself to bed. And we realized that 28 minute crying was mainly because she was overtired, because we didn't time her third nap of the day properly and we didn't respect that three hour window. So 10 days later, I am ecstatic to report that our daughter now, she might cry for two to three minutes, if at all, and then she'll, uh, uh, then she'll go to sleep. If she wakes up in the middle of the night and she's not hungry, she won't cry, but she'll kind of play a little bit and rock herself back to sleep and look for that pacifier, put it in her mouth and just go back to sleep. So she went from waking up every 45 minutes and looking for mom and dad to soothe her and to put in that pacifier to now she will put herself back to sleep and we will feed her maybe, we'll only have to get up maybe twice in the middle of the night to feed her. So our only regret through this entire process is that we didn't start the sleep training process sooner. So lastly, in this quick and dirty sleep training video, there are a ton of variations that my wife and I debated on on which way we want to sleep train. In future videos, I will go through those variations with you and why we chose not to go with those variations. So this video, I just want to go a quick and dirty. This is what we did and answer the major questions we had. If you have any tips and tricks on what worked for you when it comes to sleep training, be sure to comment in the comment section below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Good luck and stay tough. It's going to be worth it. I promise you that it's going to be worth it. And we, my wife and I, we are sleeping a lot better as a result of sleep training. All right, guys, thank you for visiting the dad zone and I'll see you next time.